Hey guys, so finally after a few months, I got this multi-protocol TX module from Banggood. It's a single module which costs about $10 compared to the more popular 4-in-1 multi-module which has the CC2500, NRF24, A7105, and CYRF RF chips. It has less features since it only has one uh, the one NRF24 chip supporting a handful of protocols. So some of the models uh, that are supported are by Isheen, Cheerson, JJRC, WL Toys, SEMA. Obviously, since it only has one module, it's only going to support a smaller number of protocols. And I'll be using it with the Isheen E10 micro quadcopter. It works with uh, a number of programmable transmitters as long as they are in... Uh, if they have the AETR uh, channel order, so the Turn G9X, uh, R, uh, Tyrannus 9XD, as long as they support PPM and you can uh, set it in AETR uh, channel order, it should work. So uh, transmitters like the JR Spectrum, which are TAER, uh, they won't work. Since this module is only working in PPM mode, it, it, you don't really need any special firmware on your transmitter in order for it to work. You know, the stock firmware on your uh, Turner G9XR or, or, or the uh, Tyrannus will work with it. You don't need any special build of, uh, of firmware for your transmitter to, to support this module. So that's one of the great things. It will work with pretty much everything as long as it does uh, PPM. And like I said, as long as you can select the channel order to be AETR, you're good to go. Because it's running in PPM mode and that it's not dependent on firmware for protocol selection, you have to hold your sticks in a certain position while turning on your transmitter to select the protocols. The transmitter itself doesn't come with any instructions, so I'll just flash up the um, instructions really quickly on the screen right now and you can take a look at it. And it's probably best if you went to the product page itself to download the latest uh, instructions if there are any. Installation of the module is actually very easy. It's just a matter of plugging it in to the back of your external bay and making sure all the pins line up. Once you plug it into the back of the transmitter and turn it on, the LED on the back should be blinking and then turn solid green. And that's when you know that it's uh, it's working properly and I actually 3, 3D printed a cover for it because as you know the 9XR Pro doesn't actually come with a cover. This uh, multi-protocol module actually uses an Atmel chip so it is programmable however if you're going to go through all that process you're better off just getting you know the larger full featured 4-in-1 multi-module if you want to support more protocols and, and models. Uh, it's decent if you have a uh, some models using the protocols that are su uh, supported by this NRF24 chip but it's not as universal as the 4-in-1, which will support way more models. The first thing I'll show you is how to set up a new model for the Isheen E10 with the Tyrannus 9X D+. Now, it's just a matter of creating a new model. And then uh, what you want to do is, I don't like using the wizard, so I'll exit out of this. The first thing you want to do is give your model a name. Give it something more descriptive than what I'm going to do here. But uh, name it E10 or something. You can also select a model image to represent your model. In the case, I'm not going to be doing that. And then what you want to do is move down all the way to the module section. Make sure the internal module is off. Since we're not going to be using that, we're going to use the external module. And advance down to that and select PPM. And the, def the, the rest of the settings could be default. Uh, you don't have to change anything. That is just fine for what we need to do. And that is pretty much it for the, that section of it. The next thing you want to do is uh, make sure your inputs are in uh, are, are like this. AETR all at 100. And the mixer as well. AETR at 100. And that's all there is to it to uh, set up a simple four channel uh, model for your uh, quadcopter. So this would work for a number of other quadcopters, not just the E10. Like I mentioned before, in order for you to bind your uh, transmitter with your quadcopter, you actually have to hold your transmitter sticks in a certain position in order to select the protocol. Now in the case of the Isheen E10, you put them in the bottom right hand corner um, for both sticks and then turn it on 
and it will select that protocol to control the Ishin E10. So what I'm gonna do here is power it on, plug up your battery, and then you'll notice that it's blinking, and then put your sticks in the uh, position, and then turn it on. You'll notice that the light will turn solid once it's bound. So right here, uh, it's bound, and you can release the sticks, and then you can just move the throttle up and down. Now the great thing about this is that it actually remembers the last protocol that you selected. So you don't have to do this every time if you plan on using it with the same quadcopter. So I'm going to just turn off the transmitter. I'm going to unplug the battery and show you that it actually remembers. So now what we're going to do is plug up the battery. And since we already selected the protocol from the last time, all you have to do is turn it on and it should select the previous protocol that was used. So you don't have to do this every time, only when you want to select a new protocol. To set up a model for the Turner G 9XR Pro, again, it's uh, very similar to Tyrannus, but I figured I'd do it anyways for you guys because I have it. Uh, so basically what you want to do is select an empty slot that is available and then uh, edit the empty slot. And you want to make sure that the mixer is uh, AETR with 100. In this case, it's uh, by default, all blank ones are like that. And then what you want to do is make sure you go down to the protocol uh, section and select the external module. And the default settings should work. I don't really modify anything here. I just leave it on the default and that's uh, pretty much it. That's pretty much what I have to do. And then go, well, next thing you want to do is you want to name it, give it something more descriptive. So uh, in order to do that, you go to the general section, and then this is where you can enter a model name. Again, that's all you need to do to set up a new model. It's very simple, and uh, it should work with most simple four channel quadcopters as well. To bind the 9XR Pro with the Ishin E10, it's a, again, it's the same process. You plug up the battery, and then what you want to do is hold the sticks in the bottom right hand position for both sticks and then you want to turn on the transmitter and then the light should go solid and that's when you know it's bound and you can test it out again just the same as uh, the Tyrannus it will remember the the uh, previous uh, protocol that you selected so if you turn it off and uh, run through the same uh, you power it up again you don't actually have to move the stick positions in the bottom right hand corner anymore you just turn it on and it should just work so that's it in terms of setup the uh, multi protocol tx uh, module from banggood is a simple inexpensive single chip multi protocol tx module which works with most, um, pretty much any transmitter that supports PPM and that has uh, the ability to operate in channel orders of AETR. It can speak a handful of protocols that are used by the NRF24 uh, L01 RF chip. It's not as feature rich as the 4-in-1 uh, multi-module, but it does work great if your model is supported uh, since it does cost like only $10. So that's it for the video. If you like what you see, comment, like, or subscribe, and I'll see you next time.